for a berth in the AFC Championship game. Off we go in the divisional round of the NFL playoffs. From his end zone, Isaiah McKenzie. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. Richardson going right to the air. And this will be swung out wide for Taylor. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. The game's first play produces six yards. Brings up second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. This second and four. Now Richardson. Oh, going deep here for Taylor. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Here's Richardson to throw. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. A big play there for Andy. And even 40 yards. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. His first throw of his playoff matchup is intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Whitehead. So they take the flag and the yardage that comes with it. Now they'll try to take advantage of that offsides call. Here's first and five. Up the middle, here's Taylor. Takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. Jonathan Taylor, 22 yards. And the Colts are on the board first here in this division round matchup. An extra point of the game is up and good. And that makes the score so Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch on the kickoff will move the ball to the 25. and the Jets now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They start the drive with Cook. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. And when you get into the divisional round of the playoffs, this is where having the ability to run the football is such an advantage. The defenses, they're generally going to be tougher the further you go along. So if you can get something established up front, it's going to give you a great chance to move on. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10.
They run it again with Cook. Boy, shifts past him. That's a pretty strong running there as he'll take this across the 50 and down to the 44. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Absolutely no trouble moving the ball on the ground on the first two plays from scrimmage. Absolutely. You know what I really like? Same guy carrying the ball in both plays. And what drives me crazy is when a back has a nice run, he taps his helmet to go out of the game. I would want the ball again and again and again because you've established really nice momentum, and now you're seeing the field really well. Now Rodgers, he's got the hook up here with Cook. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. So the completion good for just three. And that's going to bring up second down. Now it's Rodgers. That'll be complete to Allen Lazard. His first reception of the divisional round matchup, but it's good for a first down as well. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. And Lazard's got it again. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Right back to him for 10 more and a first. And this is exactly the kind of drive you're hoping for out of the gates. They're mixing the run and the pass well, keeping this defense off balance early. And they're on the march here with another first down. First down, here's the run with Cook. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. That's on the guard, Lakin Tomlinson. to clamp down because really they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back out. And a second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Jensen Good, he's going to be a very busy guy. Two catches already in this opening drive, and they were looking his way for a third. I think they put this defense on notice that that could be a really, really frequent combination. at the line and set to go. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. Now it's Richardson. He'll check this one down to Taylor. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Downs going in motion right.
That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. So the delay of game penalty backs him up. It's now second and seven. Running straight ahead, Taylor. Oh, a solid stiff arm in some open field. And he'll be out of bounds near the 30. In fact, right on the 30. Indianapolis moving the chains there on a gain of 12. These work relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Richardson off the play fake. That's caught. It's Josh Downs. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 11 more yards that go around. A first down as well. So Charles, you look at this offense. They're the number one seed, a Super Bowl favorite. But it's hard to avoid the topic that this is a rookie quarterback under center making his first ever postseason appearance. Any concern level there? Well, I would think that we all have some concern because, you know, a rookie quarterback, that's just not normal, right? But I think I'd be a lot more concerned if they were the six or seven seed and had to go on the road and play in a hostile environment. What if it was cold outside? But here you've got a guy who's been solid all year, led them to all those wins, a number one seed. I think they have unquestioned belief in him. They also feel like they have a responsibility to help carry him along as well. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45 yard line. Richardson looking to throw. Got a man. It's complete to Jelani Woods. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. On second down, it's Taylor. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. 57 yards rushing for him now as he has been strong here in the first half of this divisional round matchup. And this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. They go play action with Richardson. Rolling to his right. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid game to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. There, Richardson back to throw it. Being chased out left. And avoids the contact by sliding. Five yards on the scramble, and that's enough to pick up the first. And we both know there's a lot that went into why they made him their first round pick this year. Part of it was what they saw in college, his playmaking ability when things break down. As soon as he saw he wasn't getting a lane to throw, he pivoted and found an alternate way to the marker. First and 10, Taylor now. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Defensively, though, they had a chance there to hit him for a loss. Couldn't get it done. Looked like someone was able to knife into the backfield, but he wasn't able to get him down. But his compatriots, they were able to grab him at the line of scrimmage and not let him get any further downfield. All in all, no gain on the play, and it'll bring up third. Brandon, I think he's just grateful to get back to the line of scrimmage and avoid not just losing yardage, but a big hit on that play as well. That defense closed on him quick and forced a quick surrender out of bounds. On third down, here's Richardson. Throw taken in by Taylor right side. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Taylor is 
going to take this one in for the Colts touchdown. Gay is on for the point after. And it's good to make it 14 nothing. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. Hardman, he is not going to bring this out, so they will start to drive at the 25. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And Charles, it's kind of gut check time. Look, I know it's early first quarter, just their second drive of the game, but they've already thrown the interception, given up the score. You're down double digits. They got to figure out something and pretty quickly here. No doubt about it. And when we look at that sideline, I'm sure you're observing the same thing I am. I don't like the body language at all. They look like they're in a state of stunned disbelief. So to me, we always talk about someone stepping up and making a big play. I think it would behoove them if multiple guys step up and make big plays right now. They need something positive to happen, and they need for it to happen now. On second down, it's Cook again. And shedding through the tackle. And he'll have a Jets first down as he'll take this up to the 38-yard line. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. Following the good run by Cook, here's another first and ten. Now a handoff running for the middle. And he is not going to go anywhere. They're going to get to him behind the line, and that is going to get us to the two-minute warning. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Now they'll throw with Rodgers. And his throw is incomplete. Anytime the ball's thrown in the middle of the field, it's popped up in the air. I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. To throw, it's Rodgers. Oh, everything falling apart now. Another one intercepted. Picked off by Zaire Franklin. And he will bring it back. An interception return for the Colts TD. Here's Gay now to add the extra point. And it is now 21 to nothing. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Hardman going to bring it out of the end zone. And he'll get to the 30-yard line before going out of bounds. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath, first do no harm. And right now they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Rodgers now to throw. Over the middle and complete to Wilson. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. On 
on first down, Rodgers. He completes that to Garrett Wilson. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. In the wild card win last week, he had just two catches, and now he's got his first one here. Rodgers now on first down. Throw right side going to be caught by Hardman. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. Shotgun now for Rodgers. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. And he's taken down at the 50 after a short gain of two. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. This now a third and four. From midfield, here's Rodgers. Here's a diving catch right side. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. From the gun, it's Rodgers. He's going to get this one down to Cook. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Here now, second and four. to throw once more and this is incomplete with a clock showing just three seconds left so three seconds here remain in the half on is the field goal unit to see about getting three points and now they'll take a timeout defensively after the second down play they burn the timeout making him sweat out the final few ticks here in the second quarter Zerline's kick is up and through, and that will do it for this first half. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down, two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. That's the name of the game, and we're back underway with the second half of this AFC Divisional round. Hardman going to bring it out of the end zone, and he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover. They want to try and put points on the board. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And Charles, that had to be an interesting locker room at halftime. This is a team that's had so much success this year. Haven't really had to deal with a lot of adversity at halftime, to be honest. But now here they are with their playoff lives on the line. And I think when you're moving to that interesting locker room, you're just wondering, 
how are they handling that bit of adversity that they're seeing right now? Because I think this is a team that has to look to lean on the veterans at this point. We know we're better than this. We've proved it all season. Let them disseminate that confidence through the locker room. But this opening drive, it'll be an important one for them to give them a little jolt of confidence moving forward. Now Rodgers throwing on second down. Swinging this out wide here for Cook. And he'll be about a full yard shy of the 20 at the 19-yard line. Now Rodgers. That is caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed, picking up the first. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. Catch is made by Hardman. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Wait, what are you asking? Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. He's got Wilson. Look at it. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. A seven yard pickup brings up second and three at the 44 yard line. Or what? Now, second and three. in the first half now he's got a third here and it's good for a first I don't know what they talked about at halftime whatever it was it worked they look like a different team here in the third quarter yeah I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half what didn't and figured out a better game plan still in search of their first touchdown of the game but they're on the move first and ten working from the gun Rodgers the defense was ready for the back to leak out and even had a second player waiting to double it. If you yeah. make the doubling of back, you better prevent a completion, but give him credit. Extra determination, extra effort. No, man. Stop doing that. From the 33, here's second down to seven. Uh, uh, uh. No. No, man. Go put it up. Again now. Ooh. That boy Give me a Have been getting much yardage out of it, and now he's back after the last play. He faces third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And Rodgers intercepts it a third time. Picked up by Julian Blackman. And the Colts are going to get it back here just shy of the 20. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in coming out to start this third quarter. The last drive going. Kylie. Possibly get a little bit too greedy right there. They'll run with Taylor to begin the drive. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Oh, oh. He'll let one go deep for down. Adrian Amos with a pick. And the Jets are going to have the football here at their own third. Hey, Marshes. 
Yeah. He's had a fantastic rookie season, made a lot of lovely throws, but that wasn't one of them. But we got to give him one, don't we? I mean, with the year he's having, a lot easier for he and his teammates to accept that throw because for the most part, what they've seen, it's been pretty sensational. So after the ENT, it's Rodgers. Those are my shoes. Before being taken down. Yeah, those are mine. Rogers now. That's gonna be caught. How do you get around it? Just a yard or two shy of the ten. Hey! Now Rogers gonna ship it. Here's Rogers. Throwing first down. Oh, Tony Blair outside. Tony. Second and five from the end. Now they'll change things up. Rogers to throw on second down. Let's go. Get out. Get out. Oh, ma'am. How the hell is y'all going in there? Stay out of there. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. What? Mm -hmm. This is my phone. Where's my phone? Hmm. Uh, 
Yeah, 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 yeah. 